What is up guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. In the previous episode we explored the town of Balaam. And we also carded some fish. In between episodes I carded even more fish. And as you can tell here tw I got 29 of them. Because I was carding them carting them over and over again so I got like 29 of them and like I mentioned in the last episode it's always good to card enemies because you don't gain any XP that's why it's so useful but you still gain AP so in between episodes I learned Vitality J for Shiva it also got 48 points in the card mod as well. Card mod's gonna be very useful later on. And also learn boost for Quetzalcoatl and for Shiva as well. You can literally get boost in two battles because it only costs it only you only need 10 points for boost. So two battles and you already learn it. And it's actually very useful to have. Alright, in this episode we're going to take on the T-Rex first. Uh, now that we have boost. And we're also going to head into the fire cavern as well. Okay, so I want to card these things if I can. There we go. Always card enemies. Alright, let's see if we can get a T-Rex on the first try. Nope. Gonna card all, card all these enemies as well. Oh, I got an Elvert card. That is... That is crazy lucky right there. Third try. That is... That is so lucky. Yeah, sometimes when you card an enemy, you'll get a rare card out of it. Wow, I got... I, I got so lucky there. I got a rare card from that one too. Did they increase the odds of that happening? Cause I don't in the original game I don't remember it being that easy to get them. Like I played the original game and it was not that common. But I literally got Elbert, which is a very good card. Look at that. And then I got uh Trauma, is is that how you pronounce that? Trauma? Tra Charuma? Truma? I don't know how to pronounce that. But I think they may have increased the odds of getting that. Because I don't think it was that easy. Like, I remember doing... I remember carding bite bugs um, when I played it last time on uh, a couple years ago. And it took me like 30 tries to get one Elbert card. I had to card like 30 bite bugs in order to get the Elbert card. Alright, so I got a Caterpillar card. Uh, let's go into the fire cavern now. Oh no, we want to take on the T-Rex. That's right, that's what I was doing. I want to try to card the T-Rex too if I can.
Got to heal up a little bit there. Taking a lot of damage here. Ah, oh, oh man, I took it down. Crap. I don't want to gain EXP, game. Anyway, hope the T-Rex shows up soon. Darn, I thought it showed up. It'll show up eventually. It is pretty rare, so... Alright, come on, cart it. Quit missing. Usually when you miss, it means you have to weaken it down more, usually. Come on, T-Rex. Oh yeah, and, um, I can teach uh, Chris is a new uh, new over or limit break ultra waves. Yeah, certain items, certain items in this game can give uh, Quisis new limit breaks. Uh, she's basically the blue mage of the group. I still can't believe I got an Elbert card though. Oh, why'd you have to critical hit Quistus? Alright, so I'm gonna cut the video here until I find the T-Rex, because it's taking too long. I'll be right back whenever I encounter the T-Rex. It's gonna take a while probably, so... Be right back. All right, so I left the forest to head to head to another forest, and I got to a new encounter here that we haven't that didn't show off before. This is Glacial Eye. You can get Blizzard Cure and Scan from it. We already have enough of those, though. I don't need to I don't need to draw from this enemy. So we can just attack. And card it. Now let's head over to this forest over here to see if I can get... I, I kept trying to get T-Rex sort of show up on the other forest and it wasn't working. I don't think it matters what forest, but here we go. Got it. All right. So what you want to do is get sleep on it. Why is it resisting it? It usually doesn't. Okay, now I want to cast Blizzard on it. Because it's weak to ice. Look at that damage. Now I want to use Shiva. Yeah, it takes three times damage from ice. Alright, we want to boost. I think boost is square. What button is it? I don't remember. 
What button is boost? I thought it was square. This thing is a ton of HP, by the way. I'll go ahead and scan it just to show you. Yeah, 13,000 HP. Holy crap. This is going to take a while, guys. And it's woke up now, so we're going to put it back to sleep. What button is boost? Oh no, I don't want battle. Wait, there we go. I accidentally turned battle assist on for a second there. I don't want it on. Anyway, I don't, I don't remember what button boost is, but... Oh, I think I have to set it as a command. I think that's why. I don't have it set as an ability. And the reason I'm doing three times speed is because this battle would be too long if I don't do three times speed. Like, we'll literally be here all day. Yeah, and GFs have their own, uh, their own HP too, so, if they get, if they get hit while that blue is showing, uh, they'll, they'll lose HP, the GFs will. I didn't mean to use sleep again there. Crap, how did it wake up already? It doesn't even hit that hard though, to be honest. be just about dead I would think. Nice sleep would actually work. Thank you. There we go, got it. That's that was a T Rex or a lot of EXP for fighting it. You get 10 AP for fighting it too. And I have uh, Quetzalcoatl learning Vitality J and Sheba's learning Vitality plus 20%. Oh yeah, and I want to junction something to Vitality too. I'll junction Sleep, or Blizzard there I mean. Or no, not Blizzard. Thunder.
Trying to find how uh, what boost does. I can't remember how to use boost. I guess I might look it up online because I don't remember how to do it. Been a while. Been a while. Oh yeah, and if you stay on the road, you don't have to worry about random encounters. Alright, let's head to the fire cavern now. Come on, card work. Thank you. Man, random encounter after random encounter. Jeez. I wanted to card it. Alright, but anyway, here we, are, here we are at the fire cavern. I don't care about your tutorials, Questus. Stop. Oh yeah, I want to go save it too. I already know how to use it. Let me go save it real quick. Yes, we're ready. Alright, so we're going to do 10 minutes. Um, this will determine your initial seed rank later in the game. So yeah, we want to do 10. So you have 10 minutes to finish this area. Uh, with three times speed, it's very easy to do because the time doesn't go in three times speed, just us. Yeah, these enemies around here are very weak, so I'm going to have to just... Ugh. Even Squall one-shots them. Can't even... Can't even turn them into a card. They're so weak. Yeah, bombs are weak to ice is basically what I was saying there. Oh yeah, I want to fight these guys at normal speed. What am I doing? Yeah, and as... With other bombs and other Final Fantasies like the self-destruct and stuff. I 
I guess I'm just going to defeat these guys because I can't really card them. Because I can't weaken them down because they die in one hit. I don't think you can card them at full HP. I don't think it works. Yeah, see, even Squall one-shots them. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, we need to hurry up, too. I forgot we got a time limit. <laughs> I wasn't using three times speed for that battle. Yeah, you could draw fire here if you want. Don't know why you need to, but... Alright, new enemy here as well. Buell. Draw fire, thunder, and blizzard from it. See if I can card it. Come on, hurry up. There we go, got it. Alright, let's take on the first boss of the game. Um, I'll be doing all bosses like intro. So you'll be hearing me do the intro for that. So that's what I'm gonna be starting up uh, right about now. Oh, gotta fight this battle first. Also wanna heal up before I get into the boss as well. Yes, I was born ready. Alright, so it's time to start with all bosses video. What is up guys? It's Razor. And welcome to the All Bosses video for Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. This is every boss of the main storyline. I will also be doing an All Optional Bosses video as well. The All Optional Bosses video will be probably uploaded the day after this video gets uploaded. So stay tuned for that as well. But this is all the bosses of the main storyline. Starting with the first boss, Ifrit. And the battle literally just started, by the way. So, let's just go. Unpause and we'll take it out. I'll be fighting the bosses in normal speed, by the way. Instead of three times speed. Alright, so let's use Blizzard because Ifrit's weak to ice. And then, of course, you want to use Shiva as well. And if you use Shiva on Ifrit... Uh, you get a little cutscene, or not really, like, not really a cutscene, but a like he'll mention it. Wait until after Shiva's done casting. So yeah, for Quistus, I'm just gonna spam Shiva, and for Razor, I'm gonna keep, or for Squall, I'm just gonna cast uh, Blizzard. They have Shiva. Yeah, see, he kind of mentions it. I love the boss theme for Final Fantasy VIII too. It's one of the best boss battle themes in the entire series. In my opinion, anyway. Such a good boss theme. Surprise is not copyrighted. Uh, because Final Fantasy VII's battle Final Fantasy VII's ball steam is copyrighted. Yeah, let's just keep spamming our ice attacks. And we'll eventually get him. Not bad for a human.
impudent human. That's his like special attack. He just like punches you in the face. Let's scan him real quick. Hey, he's only got 134 HP left. He had 1,068 HP. So as he's weak to ice, he absorbs fire. Kind of obvious. All right, Chiba, finish it. Underestimated Chiba, very well, I'll join you. Oh yeah, and something you could do in that for that boss is wait till the time goes all the way down to like like one or something like that or zero and just and then press X to continue. And that'll allow you to get the max amount of initial seed points but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna wait that long to do that but I figured I'd just mention it yeah very easy boss just use blizzard just use Shiva and you'll have no problem taking it down yeah for the fe defeating um, effort we get Six G returners, an Ifrit card, which is very good by the way, and 20 AP. Very nice. And you also get a trophy as well. Yes, we already know how to junction GFs. Thank you, Quistus. No tutorials. Stop with the tutorials. Like I understand like the, when I first played the game I needed the tutorials because I didn't understand it because I was like 12 years old back then and the tutorials were helpful back then but nowadays I just can't stand tutorials but I understand why they put them in the game you gotta you gotta teach people how to play and stuff so it's understandable. It's very much understandable. That's right, so yeah. If it can automatically junction to strength and vitality, which is very nice. And he also has HP junction as well. So I'll go ahead and learn that. Uh, Shiba's learning Vitality plus 20 still. Uh, Quetzalcoatl can learn HP Junction. Let's go ahead and heal up some. There we go. And we can get out of this place now. We're done here. I'm going to carve these enemies though on the way out. Because that's what I do. I'm still surprised that I got an Elvrit card and a Tramu Tra card or however you pronounce that. That, that, that. that like surprised me a lot. Like I didn't expect that man. That's so awesome. So awesome. Ah, oh, one shot at it. Crap. Sorry, those things don't give much EXP anyway. And those those cards are actually pretty garbage anyway. So I'll just attack and finish these things off. I 
You got pretty powerful magic though. 67 damage ain't nothing to sneeze at. Alright. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. In the next episode we'll return to Balam Garden. And we'll do, we'll play some cards. You guys ready for some cards? Because I'm ready for some cards, man. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.